Hi guys, so um, today I'm doing the top 5 makeup products that everyone should have in their makeup bag and I'm not saying you should, you have to go out and buy this this is what I think that, I, that suits my skin and that stays on for a really long time as I have tested it in the years and gone out for longer and it stayed on for longer so if you want something that's going to cover up everything, stay on for longer then keep on watching but I'm not saying that you have to go out and buy this like I'm going to do that, that's rude, I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money but this is just what I think and um, what goes well with my skin type so if you want to know then keep on watching what is this and um, you're thinking what the hell is this this is the Smashbox Dry Finish Primer Sample I think everyone should have at least a sample of this in their makeup bag I mean I am not going to go out and buy a Smashbox this is like 25 quid for a primer no thank you. I have asked for so many samples of these that I've nearly got the whole thing for free. So I'm just saving you guys money and go get a sample of this because this is freaking awesome. It's like a silicone it, it's a silicone primer basically. I'll show you the like texture here. It's like a silicone and it is so freaking soft. It's like the softest thing ever. Like when you're rubbing it in you really don't feel like you're rubbing a primer and you feel like you're rubbing a moisturiser in and it's oil free so I have no idea how they need that but um, you'll need to have this in your bag because I am doing um, well, I have just finished doing a 10 hour film um, no it's not an actual 10 hour film but 10 hour film in and for a film and this stayed on the whole day with this primer my makeup stayed on so all of these together can last up to at least 10 hours and I just dropped it everywhere because I was shaking it so much. Um, but that is what you need for number one. Okay, so the next thing is this and this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 hour foundation and I mean 100 ivory. And I can't believe I just read that off the camera backwards. That's just creepy. Um, so I'll give you a little pump on my hand. Uh, it's a very light foundation. I think I could have got them a shade darker, but then I think it would have been too orange and too cakey looking if I say so myself. Um, but this is a really good foundation. It covers up a hell of a lot. It's very minimal. You can get it up to a full coverage, and it does it stay on for 25 hours. I would it's, uh, I would say it at least stays on for 10 hours. I mean, who else? Who's going to keep their makeup on for 25 hours? Like at this age, not a lot of people. So if you want a good lasting foundation, then this is the barn. The next thing is this, and this is the Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer, and this is in collection. This is collection 2000. I have heard. Is that the right way around? No. I have heard so freaking much about this, and I'm in one fair, and I've heard like it's Mac. The MAC, film, the MAC primer, no, this isn't a primer, this is a concealer. I heard like it's the MAC concealer, um, so I was like, ooh, I'm going to try me some of that. Because we can't get MAC here and it was only like £4, so I was like, I'm all over this. And this, I found this concealer, so there's the line, and then me rubbing it in. It covers up fucking everything. I have got red acne scarring. I've got two here, I think I've got one here, and I've got two here, and I have tried for years, ever since I invested in makeup, to cover them up, nothing has done it, nothing. I bought a really expensive um, concealer, and it was about, I think it was about 15 quid, and it didn't cover it up. Like, are you kidding me, I just spent 15 quid on rubbish, I returned it by the way. Um, this one, freaking coming it up and it was only £4. You all need to get this. You just seriously you need to get this. Right, so the next thing is this one and this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte um, Press Powder. And the design, number one, I kind of love it all off me. You never know which way the design is. I have to look at the back. Isn't that just so cute? I think it's the cutest. And then I'm in. 500 silk beige, it's like right up there. So I'm in silk beige. 
and guys guys this keeps you mad the whole day guys seriously guys it stays on the whole day like when i used to do 10 hours of filming um like years ago i used to have to reply my makeup and even girls now that use like benefit have to reply their makeup and i was like girl i got this i don't need it um so this really does stay on for a really long time next thing is this and this is kind of like a cheaper alternative for the um remove stain matte oh and this was only like 3.99 and the foundation was 6.99 so that was kind of pricey but worth it and um, this is natural collection and this is a loose powder in warm translucent so there it says the loose powder and there it says warm translucent and i don't know how well you're going to be able to see this which you're not it looks like that my alarm is going off sorry it looks like that and guys 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 for a 199 fucking setting powder this is so close to this these two together do not budge they keep me mad for literally like three days i'm not gonna lie i was even mad when i took this off amazing okay so that was my top five um products that i would recommend and again i'm gonna re-say this i do not force you to buy it i'm not sitting here going you buy it now i'm saying this is my opinion on these products and this is what i think if you don't want to buy it i'm cool with it if you do please let me know and tell you tell me what you think but i have tried forever to get a really good like covered foundation and a really good concealer and a really good matte because i used to be oily i don't know how well you can see them on camera but there and i think here you can't really see them too but the other ones look like that and man you cannot cover these up with anything like nothing so i haven't put foundation on today but when i do they cover it up and keep me matte and non-shiny and it's just gorgeous so again i'm not telling you to buy them i'm just saying my opinion and i hope you guys like it and like comment subscribe comment down below some more video ideas because you guys are important and you're the one that likes you're the one that's watching the video so i like yeah um so comment down below and i'll see you guys later